Hey Wanderers, Prepared Wander out in the winter woods today. This is the day after Christmas edition of Prepared Wander and we got a, a kind of a cool little video for you today. Uh, I'm going to be setting up a ripstop canvas tarp. So if you're looking for or interested in a more traditional style tarp, this may be the one for you. Stick around, we're going to start playing in the snow. So this tarp we're looking at today is from White Duck. They contacted me and said, we got a tarp that we want you guys to check out. Can Prepared Wander do a video on it? And I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. We'll check it out, see what it's all about. I've never owned a traditional canvas tarp. I've always used lightweight ripstop nylon, sill nylon, things like that. So this one's a little interesting to me. Um, of course, it's considerably heavier than a, a lightweight backpacking style tarp, but if you're looking for a traditional tarp that's going to be more rugged, um, you know, uh, maybe more suited for winter camping because it's able to handle the loads of snow on it, this might be the thing for you. And I'm just going to go over the specs real quick. This is a cotton polyester blended ripstop grid construction fabric with base weight of 10 ounces. Lightweight, durable fabric, uh, resistant to tearing and ripping due to thicker interlock thread pattern, high quality treatment, water repellent, mold, mildew, and UV resistant, uh, rust proof stainless steel grommets spaced approximately three feet apart, Reinforced fabric at every grommet placement in all corners. Double stitched hems and seams. Cut size 8 by 10. The finish size is 7 foot 6 inches by 9 foot 6 inches. And this again is from White Duck. This is the packaging that it comes with. And this is their ripstop canvas tarp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this thing up in a lean-to position so we can take a look at it a little bit closer and talk about... Uh, the pros and cons of it and see what you guys think i haven't set this thing up before yet this is all new to me so you're going to experience it with me uh first time Here it is. Get this bad boy unfolded. I'm going to be using a continuous loop ridge line.
there we go. There's the tarp all set up. So, as you can see, it's definitely a quality tarp. I mean, the construction of it is, is really well made. The grommets are all reinforced. There's plenty of grommets along it, so it's not, you're not limited to just the corners. You've got, uh, they're running around the perimeter of the whole tarp, um, which is uh, great for, you know, different types of setups. Uh, the, the ripstop material is kind of interesting to me. I never knew there was a ripstop canvas type material tarp. So I think that's really interesting. Um, of course, I set this up really quick. Um, I didn't do it. It's really cold out. And uh, I just don't feel like messing with uh, a bunch of lines and stuff and getting this thing all uh, set up proper. If I was to do this for an overnighter, it would be a different story. I'd spend a little bit of extra time with it for sure. But uh, since we're just out hiking around today, um, I'll let it go. Uh, but you can tell that it's definitely easy to set up with one person. Now, I don't know the base weight. Uh, it's... I, I can't figure that out yet. I need to weigh it when I get home. And the, there's no weight on the packaging, so maybe I'll look that up um, uh, and see if I can figure that out for you guys. And maybe I'll post it down below um, in the comments section. Uh, but uh, it's definitely heavier than, you know, a, a traditional silk nylon tarp. Of course, this is definitely what I would consider, uh, you know, inclement weather, winter weather kind of tarp that you're going to use for camping. Um, of course, uh, if you're um, out west in the back country and you're used to using a snow machine or a sled or dog sled or some type of uh, pull behind sled, uh, this would be a great tarp option for you for either covering up your gear or making a, um, an actual camp out of it. I, I definitely want to try to use this for some winter camping this year and see how it goes. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a nice nice product. And the price, um, I'll put a price down below in the comment section, but it's, it was, it's definitely uh, affordable. It's not uh, too overly priced. I think they do a good job. And there's lots of different configurations and materials that uh, White Duck actually does. So if you want something a little bit different than the ripstop, there's some other options for you. But uh, just off the bat, I think this is pretty cool and definitely going to be adding something to my arsenal for my winter camping because now I've got a heavy duty tarp that can really take the weight of snow and uh, take the the abuse of winter camping because winter camping can be really hard on your gear um, as you may know if you've actually went out and done it it's uh, you know you need some heavy duty stuff so what I'm using here is I'm using a continuous ridge uh, loop ridge line you can look that up on YouTube there's some videos of guys that show you how to set one of these up or make one really super easy this is night eyes reflective line i really like this line for tarps especially for heavy tarps because it's it's a really stout uh accessory line uh, it doesn't stretch like uh paracord does um, if you're using paracord for your tarps get away from it it just stretches way too much especially for winter stuff where it's going to get wet it's going to stretch a lot so this stuff doesn't stretch at all um and uh, i had to use heavier um 
the more uh, heavy duty night eyes uh, carabiners for this because the grommets are so big and uh, also I wanted something that is a little bit more heavy duty it's going to handle the weight these are the steel ones they're not the uh, aluminum ones that they the black ones I think are a lighter poundage these are a lot heavier they'll take a little bit more um, I think this is the number four size they call it and I forget how how much weight it can take but it's it's considerably heavier than the black ones if I remember correctly um, but these work just fine for a tarp you don't need anything much heavier duty than this uh, it'll handle the, the the strain and the weight Well, the 8x10 is definitely big enough for um, camping underneath it. I can lay under here and be completely covered from head to foot. I wouldn't want to go much smaller than this, but uh, works out pretty well. I can tuck up under here a little bit further if I need to if the weather gets uh, really bad. I could lower the, the front. Uh, of course, two tarps. You can make a, a really nice shelter with it or go for an A-frame configuration instead of the lean-to. Okay guys, just wanted to show you this video. Uh, it's a real quick setup video to show you this tarp, see what you think about it. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out the Facebook group and Instagram. Those are growing. Lots of extra content on those. And uh, check out the Amazon store. And if you're interested in ordering a prepared wanderer patch, there's a link to the big cartel site down below as, to that as well. Um, and uh, as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, 2021. Prepared Wanderer, signing off. We'll talk to you later.